That's terrible. Might have to come back with better conditions. You're not gonna get any real data. It here. was froze on top and then he dug through all that and now it's just slop. We're not gonna get any real data here doing this. I think he got better acceleration going through the snow in the field. Yeah, did you see me go sideways there? These conditions are awful. I only got a 3.9 on that one. You got a better time guaranteed going through the snow up in the field than you did down here. I don't here. think you're going to get any real data here. I don't think so either. We may just have to hold off on this till we get at least wait till everything clears up or something. Well, it's been a couple months since you guys saw that last bit of footage where we tried to get a draggy time with the tuner and stuff and the drag strip was just an awful mess. It's still an awful mess and I'm getting tired of waiting. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of waiting to see the results. So we're going to change locations here a little bit. We're actually going to use our driveway. I did a couple runs the other day as testing and uh, we got good grip here. Now, if you guys remember I did the Wildcat review this is up a pretty good hill i think it's like an 18 percent grade or something was that does that sound right no that sounds that. way too much yes, doesn't it, it is. maybe it was like a five percent i don't know but anyway it's not that much we are going uphill here but that doesn't matter because we're not going to get an all-out best time we can this is simply a comparison between stock and performance goodies so as long as we do this same run to get zero to 30 times stock then we'll still have the same comparison data. It doesn't matter whether we're flat, going uphill or downhill. As long as we're comparing it to the same, the same place. Am I making sense? I don't Comparing know. apples to apples. Yeah, it'll be all right. So I already have the tune on, the exhaust is on. So we're gonna do this kind of backwards since it's already set up. We'll do this first and then I'll convert everything back to stock to get our stock number. So we'll do with the performance muffler in tune now, we'll do a completely stock, and then we will do a stock with just a performance tune and the stock muffler. So then we'll have those three to compare. And then I got another goodie to go in here when all is said and done, which will probably be a whole different video. But for right now, I'm gonna get a little heat in the belt and we'll do a zero to 30. We'll do our zero to 30 in high gear and we'll do a 20 what do I usually do? 20 to 30 or 20 to 40? I usually do a 20 to 40 that was 30. in low gear. It might just be 30. I can't remember what I did in the low the gear X4. or high gear. In high gear. I rolling 20 to 30 or do I mm -hmm. do 20 to 40? I thought it was 30. I think it is 20 to 30. So we'll do that too. I don't know. You, you're Am I my your brain or something? You're my producer. You're supposed to keep track of all this stuff for me. <laughs> Oh, before we forget, for consistency, we have a full tank of gas. We are running 12 pounds of air pressure in all four tires. I wanted to make sure to mention that. Did you eat the same? Are you going to eat the same thing for lunch that you had? Well, we should get most of this one. done today. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> all right. Gathering data. We will do four-wheel drive. We are in sport mode. slope so about a five degrees 
so our best time zero to 30 with the performance tune and a performance muffler was 3.24 that was our best time up this five percent slope is that the last time that was the time before last the middle but i I, as you noted, I did more spinning that last time. Mm -hmm. I get this worked up a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, high gear run, 20 to 30. to 30 time was a 1.47 seconds cool so we're gonna let this exhaust cool off I'll throw the stock muffler back on and put the tune back to stock tune and we'll do it all over again well and what can only be described as a video the months in the making we're finally back to do our stock performance tests on the R max we did the uh, test with the tune and the rpm exhaust and we got her back to stock i wanted to run it a while to give time for everything to adjust back and before you know it it days turned into months i started my own business got caught up in that so like i said we've been several months here between the last footage you saw but we're going to go back and do the same test we did zero to 30 on my road here where we get a little better traction than in the draggy course back there and it's about 5% grade or 4% something like that so we're gonna do our 0 to 30 and I think I did also the 20 to 40 here the running 20 to 40 so we'll see what numbers we get stock in the road all right guys the test the exact same I got the same pressure in my tires about the same amount of fuel I did last time and we're gonna do everything in sport mode four-wheel drive regular four-wheel drive in high gear we do our zero to 30 and then like I said we'll do our 20 to 40 run all right so first run stock in the driveway zero to 30 in three two one I tend to 
to do that often. All right, forward in three, two, one, go. here on the RMX both with the tune and a performance muffler versus stock. We are going to add it to the board however the time is going to be completely off because again these times were on the flat drag strip out there and I started filming this back when there was snow and we didn't have a nice dry ground to do it on so we did it in the driveway so I think we'll have to make a note of that because you'll see here previously with the RPM round muffler and stock tune we got a 2.920 to 30. The best time we got in the driveway, which is a 5% uphill grade, with the tune and exhaust, we got a, let's put RMAC, well actually here we can, 
just take that off because it's all the same. Uh, we got a 3.24. And that's tune and, you know what? Let's change this up. We are going to, because now we have nice weather, we're going to put the muffler back on, we're going to tune it again, and we will do it again in the actual draggy strip out there to add to the board. So that's going to be a different video. For this video, let's just compare stock to tune and exhaust. How's that sound? You guys cool with that? Yeah, I'm fine. You guys out there watching, cool with that? All right, so let's just compare stock zero to 30 times in the driveway, 5% grade. Stock, our best time was 3.69. With the tune and RPM muffler, we dropped down to a 3.24, zero to 60. 30, wish it was a zero to 60, that would've been awesome. <laughs> but a 3.24, zero to 30, that is a big jump. So I'd say that is definitely worth the money of both. Tuning is probably the most beneficial, but having the exhaust definitely helped. Stock in the driveway, 5% uphill grade. Our best 20 to 30 was 1.64. And again, we dropped that pretty good with the tune and exhaust. We got a 1.47. So that's the results. You can definitely see a difference there between having a tune and exhaust versus stock. So being that on the drag strip, we got a 2.92 with just the muffler and no tune. I'm excited to see if we can get like in the mid two fives with the tune as well. Because if you guys remember when we just had that muffler on, we were running awful lean. And Dan, you actually had to stall out on you the one time, didn't you? Or, it did. Or, well, it was either you or Seth. It kind of stalled because it was running so lean. So in the next video here, I don't know, know about the next video, but in a future video very soon, we'll do... The same run again out on the flat drag strip out in our field and see what the absolute best zero to 30 time we can get and we can add it to the board. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this performance test series and I hope it's helpful in your decision on what you want to do with the RMAX. I still haven't talked to Garrett from RPM into sending me a turbo kit yet for it, but I'll keep working on them. It'd be really cool. It'd be really cool. People want to know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You know, people are going to want to know before you said keep on riding here. Is why you have a grinding wheel stuck in the side of your wheel. Um, and half of this video, that thing is in the background, stuck in your wheel. I've actually explained that, Dan. If you've been watching the videos where I was working on Project Patrick, if you guys didn't know, that's Project Patrick. You guys uh, probably haven't heard the name of that yet. Have no, uh-uh. Because, well, I'll tell you off camera. But um, yeah, I was using the cutoff wheel and it broke. And that piece first hit me in my face shield, which I'm glad I had on and still had enough velocity to sail over here and stick in the wall. I'm actually gonna frame that and leave it right there. Cool. <laughs> I just wanted you to re-explain that. So Same I'm glad way. I had my safety gear on, my proper PPE. Could you imagine if I didn't have my face shield on and that thing smacked me in the forehead? Well, I don't know about that, but oh, okay. yeah. I probably would have been hurting. It had been Scarface forever. <laughs> it probably would have been. So yeah, that's the story behind that. So bonus for this video, if you haven't watched any of my Razor 170 builds, there you go. Now you have a reason to go watch the build so you can hear me explain that for the first time. So yes. Project Patrick, yes. So guys, again, thanks for watching. Let me know if you plan on tuning your R-Max or if you already have tuned your R-Max and how you guys like the results from doing that. Until next time, God bless and keep on riding.